Hello, hello. Next up, we're gonna be talking about B the T. You like that? You like that name? B the T. I'm B, you get it? B the T. <laughs> anyway, so this particular blend is a proprietary blend of herbs that's gonna help you grow your hair. Remember how I told you in the previous video that we was gonna talk about something internally you could take? Because I have the growth elixir for you externally, but internally you gotta clean that gut, babe. You gotta clean that gut and keep that gut going. Cause what? 70 to 80 percent of the immune system lies in the gut. You know it. So this one says be the tea. It promotes weight loss, healthier skin, longer nails, and hair growth. Okay? This particular tea bag, you I put three liters of water to boil on the stove in a pot. I wanna show you the tea bag. And um and then I add this tea bag inside of the pot. Here's the tea bag. Can you see it? I add the tea bag. Ooh, it smells. Ooh, it's so strong. Powerful. I add the tea bag to the pot after it starts to boil. And then I take my spoon and I press on the tea bag to make the tea darker, you know. I let it cool off. I turn the fire off. I let it cool off a little bit and I pull me some. And then I squeeze in some agave. No other sweetener, but agave. Because agave is good for the digestive system too. And so I add me some agave to, you know, to taste. That's up to you. To your taste, you know, to your discretion, however much you want to put. And I also throw in some key limes. I didn't say regular limes, I said key limes, the small lime with the seed. Normally, they have like, you know, a little bag, you know, the little red, I don't know what they call it, like um, see-through little ba bags that they put the limes in. They'll have a bag, I get about $30 worth of the bags when I see them. I take all the bags home because key limes are life, right? And I press all the little limes and I put them in my freezer. A good idea too to be to um, do is to to get you some lime juice and put it in your ice cube trays. And that way when you do your teas, you have some lime and you could put your your tea and your little ice cubes of key lime inside of your cup with your agave. Your whole life gonna change. I promise you. Because key limes actually help to electrify your body. These herbs are electrifying your body. You see where I'm going here? We have the herbs, which is for the healing of the nations, and the fruit, which should be your fruit, your food, like in the biblical text. All healers know that you need a combination of both. This is gonna get that, that, that digestive system rolling and moving. And guess what else you have? You have your pre or probiotic inside of that agave. You see, you know how they talk about on, on the commercials when they talk about those acidophilus pills, so to speak, the little, the little white little tablet, little man-made stuff. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You have natural uh, probiotics and prebiotics and things like sweet tamarind and your agave sweetener that you're going to put up in your tea right here and in um, like dates and figs. Yeah, because that, that it has to be something like tacky. You know, that'll leave like an ash or residue behind. That's your pre or probiotic, so to speak, right? And you got it naturally in fruit. And you're going to have it naturally in your tea if you sweeten it with the agave. And that's going to get that digestive system going. That's going to clean out that kidney, the liver. This tea, if you hook it up this way that I'm telling you, with the agave and with some key limes inside of it, oh, man. You're going to feel the difference inside of your body. You're going to be expelling some toxins out of your body immediately. I promise you. These are the things I know. So this particular tea is going to allow your skin to begin to look more youthful. Because the herbs that I chose inside of this tea has high silica count. The silica is a color cousin of carbon, right? And so that's why black don't crack because we have higher carbon or melanin inside of us versus other hues of beings, right? So we have a higher um, amount of melanin inside of us versus other people. So 
our skin does stay a little bit youthful more, longer and more tighter longer than others but guess what black can crack if you don't take care of your skin if you don't have enough of silica inside of it if you're not taking care of your melanin if you're downing a lot of sugar you're not eating any electric fruit foods or fruits right it's because we are tropical beings and we need the fruits. that's why i'm telling you about the herbs but i'm also encouraging you to add the fruit the citrus fruit such as the key lime inside of it. And even if you don't eat um, fruit all the time, at least make you some key lime aid and have it in the refrigerator so you could take it maybe at nighttime. Take it at night and keep your bowel movement going. Keep that kidney flowing and filtering the blood that way. Because keep in mind, the blood has an end, you know, things that go inside the bloodstream and make it toxic and tacky, but there's no out for it. The out is the lymphatic system. So taking the key limes, taking herbs, all of this is going to clean up the lymphatic system for you. Get the tea, be the tea, <laughs> be cleansed. I guess that's all I have to say about it. This, this, this here particular tea, I, I drink it all the time. And I encourage you to throw in some key limes in there, throw in some agave. Don't be the stiff, stiff neck generation and still use the white toxic sugar in this tea. Please don't do it that way. If you're going to take the tea, take the tea without sugar. But if you take it with sugar, use the agave sugar and follow the right directions for what I'm saying here. Because you know how, how people get, well, I'm going to just do it my way. I'm going to get the cane sugar. No, I'm going to get the coconut sugar. Sugar, sugar, it don't matter. Yes, it does matter. It does matter. We have coding for the matrix, coding for the things that electrify our body. And everything we put in it matters. Pay attention. Wait, I want to show you something. Speaking of matter, before... Before I go, before I go, I want to show you on this here little short little video that I saw. Let me see. I want to show you how much it matters. I saw this little video, of this guy talking about key limes and how how he electrified. He was doing a little test. It's a little two minute video. Here we go. This guy here is talking about one of the most powerful super fruits to detoxify the body. And he has, wait, it's buffering y'all. And he so has a little, a little magic light, box here. light bulb where he's showing you we're gonna put the probes in with the probes on it. Body. So we'll do another demonstration here. I have some spring water. <laughs> And I just squeezed some key limes while ago. I squeezed, I think, three of these in here. So it's not very much. And we'll see what happens every day when we, uh, we eat key limes. <clears throat> so you can see the light bulb starts to turn on. So when we eat foods that have vitamins and minerals, they still have their energy force. Our body becomes alive. Electric food, electric food. keeps getting body. brighter and brighter. So, so this is a great thing to do first thing in the morning. Is um, is always just don't don't use lemon, don't use lime. Make sure you use the key lime. You can do about three of these in the morning. Thank you. Another great uh, thing to do is do it at night. It helps stimulate the bowel naturally. So if you're constipated or something like that, this is definitely help you in that area. You know what he's talking so about. So next test we're gonna do is the sugar test and we're going to see how fast sugar actually affects our body so this is why i say don't so i haven't uh sugar. i haven't just let this uh my little light bulb sit here i don't know how long this lasts but it may it looks like it'll last a long time so make sure you you guys juice your key limes in the morning and a good time to do it is at night before you go to bed so here's a tablespoon of sugar there you go. look how fast it affected our light bulb already okay. already our energy level is already down Bam. That's two tablespoons. Well, less than two. Here's about here's about three quarters of another tablespoon. There you go. And look Lights at out. it. Completely so, put out the light that's bulb. That's really why I say what I say for those uh, for those who needed to see, you know, or hear maybe from somebody. 
with brighter skin than me. You know, sometimes we could take a message better from other people. But that's why I say, if you're going to do the tea, do not add white toxic uh, sugar to it because you're defeating the purpose. You're defeating the purpose. Do it right. Follow the directions so you can be healed completely. Sicknesses and diseases can be healed if you give the body the things that it needs to heal, okay? This video was from my heart to yours. Be blessed, babe. <laughs> okay, okay, one more thing. Before I wrap this video up, I ran to the kitchen so you could see what agave looks like because I know some people in the physical reality don't probably know some things. This is what agave looks like, the sweetener that I'm talking about. And I also ran into the kitchen real quick to show you that I put the key lime juice after I squeeze it in the, the, the ice trays. That way I always have it readily available for my tea. Add you some key lime and a grave sweetener to your tea and be. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Be blessed, babe.